Peggy 7. We really took the opportunity to push the drifting much further than we would have in, in any of our previous titles. Drift varies a lot on vehicles. Some drift a lot better than others. Ridge Racer Unbounded is built on top of Bugbear's in-house developed game engine. The good thing about the engine is that it's built specifically for racing games. So we have a custom designed physics engine which takes into account physics that really matter for racing games. This is not a simulator by any means. It's an arcade experience and it's easy to pick up. We're going to have uh, multiple districts within the Shatter Bay City, and those districts are going to be stuff like uh, the downtown industrial docks areas. The gameplay is going to be varied uh, between those as well. So when the players are uh, making tracks themselves, they can actually place the different types of blocks and think about what kind of gameplay they want. There are lots of like secrets and opportunities that you need to be able to exploit, and if the player is not very active in seeking those hours out. The AI will then proceed to like show that hey, you can go here. So the AI will start to show you all of these like multiple routes and stuff if you're not using them yourself. We're going to give you more game modes. There's going to be new vehicles, of course. We have game modes like Crash Race, where you actually you race around the track. Game modes like Frag Attack, where you you have to break the environment. You get points for that. You have to really use the environment to your advantage. One of the features in the game that started out as a really wacky idea was this thing about placing uh, gameplay information in the world. We just uh, really like the aesthetic of like putting the HUD into the game world, and it really uh, gives this very unifying look to the game. In Ridge Race Unbounded, there is no room for gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs>